So Mary, I think maybe one of the uh, lessons that we've learned over recent years is that um, in Europe and in, 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 in the States that political support for refugees was not what we thought it was. Um, how do you think moving forward um, uh, coalitions of organisations can um, build on that lesson for the future? Well, I think in the United States it was very clear that uh, as you said, the, the support wasn't as deep as uh, we may have thought it was for refugees. And I don't think that that means that people don't support the idea of refugee admissions or aren't generous or compassionate, but they don't necessarily see how support for refugees fits into a broader political context. And so one of the challenges for the refugee movement in the U.S. really has been to build more bridges to uh, the much broader immigrant rights movement um, to communities, especially at the local level, many of whom do amazing work with refugee resettlement, but haven't necessarily been organized along those lines to be able to really express why refugees are important members of our community, why uh, support for them matters, why it um, has lasting benefits, not only for the U.S. nationally, but at the at the local level. So I think uh, spending more time working with communities sort of from the ground up to create policies that can um, be flexible enough at the national level to accommodate a lot of different issues on immigration, including refugees um, and refugee admissions, but that give uh, people the tools they need at the local level to really be able to uh, argue for uh, stronger refugee admissions and for more robust policies that support immigrants is, is a really critical part of our mission now. And considering people probably thought that that was in place up until this point because, you know, um, there have been generations of people doing this mm -hmm. work, how will, where will the, I suppose one of the questions is where, where will the funding at least, where will the capacity come for that in the current climate, or maybe this is a, a post-era question. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that w we really are challenged in the United States now, given um, the current administration's attempts to, to really destroy the infrastructure for refugee resettlement, to um, try to think beyond the, the immediate moment and think about the ways that we will rebuild the resettlement system. I think that uh, this is, it's a tragedy what's happening, but in tragedy you have to find the opportunity to, to think differently. And so I don't know yet where all the funds will come from, I don't know where all the ideas will come from, but I do know that there are many, many people across the political spectrum who are saying, wait a minute, this is a good thing. How do we make it better? How do we improve the services that are delivered to people? How do we ensure that we never are at a point again where um, uh, protection for refugees can just be taken away so easily as it, as it really has been under the Trump administration?